Hey guys, and welcome to this class, where we're gonna take a look at making multi-layered soldered ring bands. Rings within rings, you might say. And then, just to keep things exciting, we're gonna create a unique bezel setting and learn how to affix that in a professional looking way to our ring bands. But let me say this, this is not just a class on making a ring. I wanna use this class to share with you a ton of tips and tricks relating to soldering, fabrication, and finishing, okay? But most importantly, I wanna share with you the biggest lesson of all. These three procedures, let's call them, okay? Fabrication, soldering, finishing. These are not separate entities. They're combined and mingled together throughout the entire process of making this ring. You see, making jewelry is never step A, step B, and step C. It's much more like spaghetti soup. Now, before we take a look at what you're gonna need for this section of the class, I will say this is just for inspiration, okay? You can get really creative here. For the final assignment, all we're asking for is two rings. One must have at least one outer ring band soldered in place. So something like any of these would work an absolute treat. And for the second ring band, that must have at least, again, one outer ring band soldered in place, but it must also have a bezel setting in a domed form, similar to what we're going to demonstrate in this class. And the reason for requiring such a specific setting, like the one we're gonna use, is because quite frankly, it's a rather hellish soldering job, but a job that is gonna push your skills phenomenally. I'm evil, I know. So what exactly are we going to need for this portion of the project? And when I say this portion, what I mean is a single ring band, okay? We'll cover everything else a little later. But anyway, for the base of the ring, we're going to be making this using 16 gauge, which is 1.3 millimeter thick, sterling silver sheets. And you're probably going to want to grab dead soft if you can get it. You can also use 18 gauge, which is one millimeter thick if you prefer. Now, how much are you going to need? Well, that depends on the size and the width of the ring band that you're gonna be making. But about six millimeters by 80 millimeters should be more than enough for each ring. Our center ring band that we're gonna be soldering in place, that is made from 1.5 millimeter round beaded wire. So again, you're gonna to want to grab about eight centimeters of that for each ring, if you're wanting to make a ring exactly the same as mine. And again, this is size dependent. Like I said though, you really don't have to follow our design exactly here. There are tons of options and you can use any wire you choose for this, fancy or plain and any size at all. So you can feel free to use twisted wire, beaded wire, plain round wire, whatever floats your boat. And finally, you're also gonna need hard and medium silver solder. And as always, I'm gonna use a wire solder that I've passed through the rolling mill to make it as thin as possible. Now, if you haven't watched that video just yet, I'm gonna pop a link below this one for you to take a look. But anyway, that is pretty much all that we're gonna to need to get started. So let's head on over to the next video and we're gonna get started working very mindfully on our first ring bands. Alrighty, I'll see you over there. <laughs> 